Today we have the GMC Yukon Denali Ultimate. Now, the 5th generation Yukon has been with us since 2020 and, even though a facelifted model is on the way, I wanted to revisit the current iteration of GMC's biggest SUV. Built on a body-on-frame platform shared with GM's other full-size SUVs and trucks, the Yukon features coilover shocks up front and a multi-link setup in the back. The Denali Ultimate trim that you see here adds adaptive magnetic shocks and an air suspension to maximize the comfort and improve off-road capability. The powertrain options include two V8s, a 355 horsepower 5.3 liter and a 420 horsepower 6.2 liter. And for diesel fanatics, GMC offers a 277 horsepower straight six Duramax turbo diesel. A 10 speed automatic transmission is standard across the board, and four wheel drive variants get a two speed transfer case. Towing is probably one of the reasons why you're considering a body on frame SUV, and the ultimate trim can tow up to 8,000 pounds. Now, before we talk what it's like to drive a fully loaded Yukon, let's jump inside and talk about the interior space. After climbing inside the Yukon, you are greeted with a very spacious and practical cabin. A lot of storage solutions, enormous door packets and great overall ergonomics. The Denali trim gives you premium touches here and there, elevating overall experience that you in fact drive a six-figure vehicle. What GMC did particularly well is they combined usability with technology. There are a lot of physical controls for things that require easy access, the digital gauge cluster is fairly customizable and provides you with all the information you need, and the infotainment system based on Android Automotive OS has a very clean, logical interface. The front seats with heating and cooling can accommodate pretty much any body type, offering great adjustability and the driving position gives you a good command of the road. Now, moving to the back, the Denali trim gives you two captain chairs and, as you can imagine, your travelers have plenty of room and all necessary amenities, such as charging ports, displays with HDMI and climate control. Lastly, the trunk. It offers 26 cubic feet behind the third row, 73 behind the second row and 123 cubic feet after folding all seats down. Alright, so that was the interior of the GMC Yukon. Let's get it on the road now and see how it drives. Before we get started, I have to mention that body on frame, full size SUVs are not necessarily my cup of tea, so I'll tell you what it was like to drive the Yukon on a daily basis. Starting with the drivetrain, the Yukon with a 420 horsepower 6.2 liter V8 never feels underpowered. You get a lot of low end torque, smooth progressive power delivery coming from the engine and the 10 speed automatic was always in the right gear and quick to respond if needed. The fuel economy, as you can imagine, wasn't all that great. 30 miles per gallon in the city, 20 on highway and 16 combined was the best I could do. Now what positively surprised me is the right quality. It's excellent for a body-on-frame vehicle. The multi-link rear suspension combined with magnetic ride control and air springs makes the Yukon very compliant over road imperfections and with well-isolated cabin from the road and outside noise, this is a fantastic cruiser, especially on long road trips. And those trips can only get better if you turn the massaging seats on and engage Super Cruise, which is GM's semi-autonomous driving system standard on the Ultimate trim. It uses cameras, sensors and GPS to give you a hands-free driving capability on more than 200,000 miles of compatible roads in the US and Canada. All you have to do is keep your eyes on the road and the vehicle will do everything for you, including lane changes. Pricing starts at $60,000 for an entry-level, two-wheel drive SLE model and four-wheel drive is a $3,000 option. My almost fully loaded Denali Ultimate trim was priced at a little over 100 grand. It's worth noting that the Yukon comes with a 3-year, 36,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty and a 5-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty. If you have any questions about the Yukon, feel free to drop a comment and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you later!